Hey guys, welcome to West Text Printing's page. This is a tutorial on how to do tracing in Adobe Illustrator. So I'm not gonna get to go over everything because I sped the video up, but if there's a part that you aren't sure about, just pause the video and that should help. If not, then you can leave comments below to let me know exactly what your question is. So there are a lot of ways that you can trace in Illustrator, and this was just one way that I wanted to show. So I set the document up to be placed on Facebook, and that's why I chose to do 1200 by 628 pixel image. You can change this for whichever platform that you're gonna create the image for. And that's also why I put it as an RGB color. I placed the original image on a separate layer from everything else, but that's so that I can lock the layer that it's on. Because for me, I just wanna make sure that I never alternate the original image because sometimes when I'm working, I'll accidentally alter the original image without even knowing about it. So I really just like to put that on a separate layer and lock it. As far as tracing, I always put the fill for my new image on the lower opacity. And that's just to make sure that I can see the original image. You can trace with anchor points or you can trace with shapes. You can trace with a lot of different things. But for this video, I used um, the polygon shape and then I put anchor points on the path and I also deleted some anchor points just depending on where I was trying to trace. And also, whenever you are using these anchor points, make sure that they're on a path. If it's not on the actual path, then it's just going to be by itself and it won't connect to anything. Well, thanks for watching the video, and if you do have any questions, just comment below.